Hey everybody, Smooth here. How's it going tonight? Awesome. Okay, um, well, one of my subscribers, Ranchero302 me there, uh, he apparently likes my smoothie snacks, and he's been requesting that I make some more. So tonight I thought I would uh, make you up just a small batch of my uh, rolled roll Um They're very easy to make. Uh, I usually make... I don't know, quite a few for uh, like larger parties, but tonight I just bought the fixings just to make a couple, just to show you how they're done. But uh, this one's for uh, Ranchero 302 Me. Uh, more smoothie snacks. Hope you enjoy this. Alrighty, um, these are pretty easy to make. Um, I just take uh, your basic uh, roll of den. Um, get this at any meat market, I guess kind of similar to what I made the last time. You just take one big old sheet of that and slap her down on a plate. Grab a spoon here. Now what I'm using here, this is just a regular old spinach dip. You can buy that pretty much any uh, deli or anything like that. I just take a little scoop full of that. It doesn't have to be very much because this stuff will ooze when it cooks. Um, just smear that all nice, nice like that. Oh yeah. Now what I like to use here is uh, fresh sliced pastrami. Although uh, Montreal smoked beef works really good too. Now I just take it, uh, however, basically just to cover the spinach dip. So I'll just slap a piece down there like that. And we'll slap this one here on top, kind of like that. And then, I like to use Swiss cheese, although any cheese will work. I usually just use this uh, nice fresh Swiss cheese. Just put one piece on one end because like this does ooze really bad. And then it's just this, again a simple roll up, roll up the mop to win. Although this one's not really rolling good for me, but and there's one. Uh, I'm going to grab just another plate here. I'm going to put this on here. Grab another one, same, same. Just as a little bit of uh, spinach dip, it don't have to be a lot. Spread that out on there nice, nice. A little bit of pastrami. that in half, stick that there, slap that over top of it, a little bit of Swiss cheese like I said, and just roll her up. There's two, and we'll do the third one really quick here. Like I said, like I'm just making a couple here just to show you how these are built really quick. Um, last time I made these, I uh, I bought like four packages of these because once they're cooked, you slice them up into smaller pieces, right? I'll show you that once these are cooked. I'll stick that there, that there, a little slab of cheese. There we go. See, now I got three of them. Now we're going to throw them in the oven to cook. But you see, once, uh, once they're cooked, we can cut them into three or four pieces for a smaller hors d'oeuvre kind of thing is what they work out to. Um, we'll cook these about, uh, I'm thinking probably about uh, 400 for about 20 minutes just to kind of get everything cooked through and let it ooze a little bit then you bring it out, you gotta let it chill you gotta let it chill, but anyways I'll get this into the oven and uh, get it cooking and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done oh I just about forgot here just on the top of these I like to take just, this is just regular old uh, garlic salt and just 
little sprinkle of garlic salt on the top of them. Just every little bit. There, that's about that. Okay, I'll get these fired into the oven and uh, I'll show you when we're done. Okay, mm 400 for 40 minutes they were in there. The cheese is just starting to ooze out the ends of them. Now I gotta let these cool down a little bit so that they don't fall apart when I slice them. I'll slice them up and we'll show you uh, how they're done or what they're like when they're done. Alrighty, I've let them cool down. Now they're still maybe just a little warm to the touch, but uh, just about basically room temperature. Then I just slice them. See, they hold together pretty good once they've cooled down. If you try to slice these when they're hot, they just fall apart. But you let them cool down. Then you just slice them up. Sometimes they still do fall apart. Turn that one around, slice it backwards. And if you, when you're slicing these, if they are a little bit warm and they, you notice they are falling apart, throw them in the fridge for a bit. Get them nice and cold. Chill them right down. Um, see, that one's still a little warm there. It's coming apart. Stuff squishing. But once they, like I say, once they've cooled down, they're kinda, they stiffen right up. They hold their shape pretty good. Like I said, said before too, like I, you know, I make about six times as much. Slice it all up, throw it on a plate, kind of like little finger foods. That one's falling apart. I can't let it go. No. Mmm. 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 You know, about many more again. Um, come up with a little dip if you got some kind of dip for them. Sorry, I shouldn't have eaten that one, but oh god, that was good. I'm going to be eating the rest of these here right away. But, uh, you know, some kind of little dip. Um, you know, serve it up with your uh, chips and your dip. Um, you got cheese and crackers and stuff out, you know. Build a plate of these, throw them out there, a little dip. They are just phenomenal. I've been making these for quite a few years now. And, uh, like I said, you can use, um, uh, what do you call it, Montreal, uh, um, Montreal smoked beef or Montreal uh, beef, some kind of sliced stuff like that. I like pastrami because I just love pastrami. So, you know, you can use any kind of meat in there, any kind of cheese. It's just, you know, this is kind of a, an idea of what to, because I don't go by no recipe books. Never have, never have. I just slap shit together and see how it turns out. I'm going to eat that one next, but anyways, there you go, roll, roll in, roll it down, smooth style, hope you enjoyed that, smooth out.